Well, as I discussed last episode, we are skipping quite a few games, shortening up the number of episodes per season. So make sure you're sitting down because we skipped a lot of games. We're still before the winter transfer window, though, so don't freak out too much. Roll the intro, and let's get into some scores. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 19 of Football Manager. Jumping into a couple of highlights, we'll show a couple of matches here in the early going so we can get right into it. You saw a deflection there and Mansoor Jasufi got the goal. I can't pronounce that name very well. Then we got the penalty. Romain charging through the middle of the field. Nice little tap and pass. Mark beats him to the ball, and he gets a goal there. Made it 3-0. Palace would get a counter. Luckily, through ball, Licka came off his man. Marrera couldn't really make a play on that. He was nursing a strained groin, but we were down both goalkeepers in this match, so we had to play an injured one. Wheel with a nice finish to make it 4-1 early in the second half. Wheel finds Graves with a good ball. Graves lays it off, and Ramos makes a run in from the shadow striker position and puts one in the back of the net. Mark gets a penalty for his second of the game, and minutes later, it's Rowe coming in from the right side. Ramos, Graves, Wheel, and Graves with the final tally to make it 7-1. Lester over Palace in that one. One of the more recent games, a 3-2 win over Everton. Let's take a look at the highlights. Gladchenko breaks in. Oh, sends Solis the wrong way. Uh, Solis was playing due to an injury, and we were in a 1-0 hole. Horton would find a good overball to Boonchera, and that made it a 2-0 hole in the 29th minute. I was getting worried here. Just a couple of minutes later, over the top, Graves near post made the angle, and that made it two to one. Playing out of the back, Hilden over the top, nice touch by the Frenchman Mark, and then he dinks the keeper with just a little deft chip, equalized in the 30th minute, and Romain right down the middle, 94th minute penalty, and we walk out with a 3 2 victory that was well deserved. Taking a look at the rest of the scores since the opener, uh, we did have a couple of losses to start the season. Liverpool, Chelsea, 2-1 uh, to one in each of those. Uh, Carabao Cup second round, a 4-0 win in that one. West Brom, we beat 4-0. And you can look at the goal scores. Pause it if you want to check those out. Uh, Cardiff, a 3-2 victory. We got drubbed by Arsenal, 5-1. Uh, Carabao Cup, we were eliminated by Bristol City. We played a pretty rotated squad. Uh, Romain came in off the bench and got a uh, penalty, but too little, too late. 2-2 two -two draw with Newcastle, uh, the Crystal Palace match that we talked about. 2-1 win over Stoke, 5-1 over Rotherham, who were pretty high up in the table at that point. Man City took care of business, 2-1. We got a late goal. And then uh, the 3-2 win over Everton there and a 2-2 two -two draw. Uh, Mark and Graves both finding the net in the equalizer with Fulham. Taking a look at the competition. So we've been knocked out in the third round. They did want us to reach the fourth round, but that's okay. Third round starts uh, the end of the year, and currently in the Premier League, uh, 13 games. We're sitting on 20 points, and not too bad. Four points off of Europe qualifying, well off the pace set by Man United and Brentford, surprisingly. But on the flip side, we are 13, is that 13 points? Yes, 13 points, clear of Knotts County uh, for relegation and Everton. So we're only supposed to avoid relegation. We're playing well. Jumping into the squad look, taking a look at our goal leaders, 13 and 13 from Graves, having another stellar season, 13 goals from a 7.93 XG, three assists, seven and 14 for Noel Mark on a 7.45, so he's right there. I'd like to see a little bit better, but first year in the system, I you know, I do believe 
that it sometimes takes players into their second year to really find their footing. Romain has caught up five goals, five assists. He is still looking good. We no longer have the buyout clause on him, uh, but he does run out of contract at the end of this season. So I am thinking come December 1st or January 1st, we might try to pick him up uh, if Chelsea have not re-signed him. Uh, Gomez Santos, 3-2. and two. Uh, He has asked to leave for a loan, and I've promised that. Uh, and that frees up either him or Mikatin to be the primary off the bench. Uh, Rui Ramos playing in that number 10. Two goals, four assists. I'd like to see a little bit better. I'm not convinced he wouldn't do better in the central mid role. But we've got a promise with him, I believe. Adv oh, advanced playmaker. Have I? I guess we'll switch that over and make him an advanced playmaker. So all in all, things are looking pretty good. Dropping into the transfers. Uh, Sandy Ramsey uh, came and asked to be transferred. Uh, that He wasn't playing enough. So we have sold him to Sheffield United. $11 million up front and then $11 million over... Six, I think it was six, uh, six installments, one every six months for three years, uh, for another 11 million. So we'll get that, it'll just be you know down the road a little bit. And I don't see anybody new after the transfer business that we did. Uh, we do have a couple of guys, I think. Uh, we did sign these two guys a young goalkeeper, uh, he'll be joining end of contract and uh, a young uh, central defender that we picked up joining mid-season. Uh, both are 18 and 17, respectively. Uh, Freemu is four and a half star potential. Leon, um, I don't know why it's not showing, but he was, he was actually pretty good. So we'll take a look at him later on. Let's go ahead and get up to the match today against Brentford. All right, we're going to go with Solis in goal, McNeil, Fowler, and Hilden on the back line. Wheel, Jasufi, Romain, Mikatin in the mid, Ramos. And I've changed that from a shadow striker to an attacking playmaker uh, or advanced playmaker because that is a promise I made when I signed him, and I kind of screwed up not having that done already. Uh, so I've changed the playmaker to a ball-winning midfielder and a box-to-box -box midfielder. Yeah, he can be a ball-winning midfielder. He plays pretty well. Uh, Ramos in the number 10, and Graves and Mark up top. Let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, we had a stretch there where we had lost both goalkeepers, uh, and I was in a pickle. Uh, it was right after the trade deadline. Trade deadline, I'm thinking the NFL. Right after the transfer window, and um, I couldn't call El Batabi back, so that was a problem. And I was actually getting ready to play our one and a half star keeper that was down in the U18s and playing with our U18s and U23s. And luckily, Marrera was healthy ish enough. <laughs> uh, not the healthiest, but oh, off the crossbar. That was lucky for us. Cleared out, and that would have been an early hole. Brentford again, number two in the table. Uh, so they are right up there with Man United. Oh, Mark went the wrong way. Mikatin collapsing back defensively. And I'm thinking... Oh, I hope that's not a penalty, but... I don't know. I don't know if it was the keeper. It must have been, it must have been a field player. Mm. Pablo Vinicius. And he beats Solis for the penalty. We're in a one nothing hole. And that is his first goal of the season. That doesn't bode well for us, does it? I don't need to see that again. All right, we have Romain on the corner. And there's a header right into Bologna's hands. I know it's Bologna, but Bologna. My Bologna has a first name. Hilden, building from the back. Come on, find a pass. Mikatan over to Mark. Oh, into Ramos, and he dinks the keeper. What a play by Rui Ramos, his third of the season. 
And that was a thing of beauty. Oh, that was just such a deft touch by him, wasn't it? Mike attend the little flick on. Mark controls it, tabs it through, and just, oh, that's just about the sweetest chip pass play you'll ever see. Oh, that was such a thing of beauty. We're equal at 1-1. Everybody's looking really tight here. Nobody made a run through the wall, so Solis is able to pick it up real easy. Oh, that was a blistering header right back up. Ramos picks out. Oh, wheels taken down in the box. They are going to look for a penalty here. They're going to run over to the telly. And the decision is... It is a penalty. Who's going to line it up? It is Romaine. Bottom right corner. Making the call. Oh, it's saved. Did it go off the woodwork? Oh, I think that went off the woodwork because normally on a deflection, he would not be allowed to score it as that would put him off sides. So it must have hit the woodwork, and it did. Oh, and he gets the put back. Right place, right time. Very unlucky for Brentford. We will take it and be very happy with it. We're going to demand more. Mikaton, head it out. Romaine is doing a good job for us. Oh, look at that pass through. Was Graves on sides? I think they're, well, the, the, the side judge ran off. I think that counts. 3-1 to Leicester. Oh, that was brilliant. I thought he might have been off sides. He's just stepping back. Oh, it was Cantoni that played him on, I think. I think he was out of, he was off sides, but just enough. Just enough to get the get onside and get the goal. Three to one in the 24th minute. Looking good right now. McNeil stabs it away. Little triangle there just to get some space. Ramos in the mid. Oh, beautiful through ball to Mark. And he powers it past the keeper. Eighth goal of the season for Noel Mark. Oh, that is nice. Two goals in two minutes makes it four to one. That was a nice through ball by Ramos. I don't know. I it's, Is it just me? I'm I'm really happy when I see through balls played like that rather than crosses. There's something about it. I think that just shows more skill. Oh, that one's just off the mark. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But I do like uh, I do like the through balls. All right. They are sitting on the ball now. Cutting us apart. Get across into the attacking zone. McNeil makes another stab but can't hold on to it. And that sets up a cross. And the header at the back post, it's Jay Bailey. Darko Gosevich with the assist. And Solis got beaten. That was not great. 4-2. to two, and, we're, and we still have 15 minutes left in the first half. Crazy affair. Um, Mikatin gets beaten. So I think uh, by moving Gomez Santos out on loan, that's going to let Mikatin be option off the bench, both at number 10 and out on the wing. But I don't know if he's going to be first choice. And, and oh, look at this. Oh, that was almost a lucky deflection. Um, being that he is a team leader, I'm going to have to see how he's reacting, but we may look to move him on. Now, again, normally in, you know, uh, it's through and Graves. Graves put a little dink move for number 15. Mikatin with the assist, and we've made it 5-2 to two in the first half. 
Let's uh, let's praise him. Need to watch the highlight again. A lot of goals coming in this match. Intercepted by McNeil. A couple of quick passes up to Wheel. And he takes a crack, a soft crack. Bologna is able to get there with no problem. And 5-2 to two at the half. Try to keep him motivated. Now, this is a point I might want to look at switching over to that more defensive three-back tactic. Oh, there was a nice shot. Good luck. Good save by Bologna. Got to give him a little credit there. All right, let's, uh, let's make a sub here. All right, McNeil is being aggressive, and he's on a yellow. Let's bring him off for Gerber and pull off Jasufi and bring on Mat Mateus. Actually, I'm going to bring Luke Rowe on. Luke Rowe is going to be... Oh, I like Mateus, though. I've got, I've got too many good players now to fit them all in my starting 11. That's the problem. And I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> One thing I can never control is my spending. I mean, I can, I can limit it, but when I find a good player... You know, I'm compelled to buy him, and then I'm like, all right, well, what do I do with this guy? In, in a normal save, it wouldn't be an issue. I would just move the other guy on. But when I'm trying to be in this Bielsa mindset of being loyal to the guys that, you know, loyal to the players that have been with the team, now I've got a log jam, especially in that central mid. Um, and I just don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, we'll try to get that ball. Good tackle away there by Rowe. Making his presence felt now that he's on the field. Oh, they blitz it over the top. It's Mark. And he gets a two for one there. Takes the shot. It's saved. Comes right back to him. And he puts it into the net on his second chance. And that is a big counter, making it 6-2. to two. Um, All right, you know what I'm going to do here? I am going to go to our... I got rid of that tactic. I got rid of that tactic. I, I played it a couple of times. I wasn't happy with it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, all right, Wheel can play defensive left. Let me shuffle these guys around and see what I want to do here. I'll be right back. All right, well, I decided not to make any changes after all that. Romaine into the box. That was going well wide. How many subs have I made? I've made two. Let's go ahead and sub Romaine off. He's now tired. Yeah, let's bring Mateus on for him. Or, or... No, I've already made I've already put Roe on. So yeah, let's bring Mateus on. I want him in there. Well, I was so happy when I got Mateus, and now it's like I can't find a place to play him, you know? That was not good. Finds Mikeaton. He beats his man with the first touch, and he takes a crack. Probably should have laid that off, but I think he just wants to get a shot with the ball. All right, Orobito. Knocked over by Solis. Big save. Got to like that. Bounced around a little bit. I think we may have gotten a lucky deflection. Oh, that was a weird cross way back six to two five minutes left there's Mateus Ramos some quick one touching bro oh what a beautiful outlet pass to wheel and he's taken down he goes down hard is that going to be a penalty it looks like they're looking at it did Wheel draw the penalty here? I'm not sure that was really a foul. 
some Premier League acting there. And, and, no penalty. All right. It was some acting. Of course, in real life, they should card him, right? That should be a yellow card for, for simulation. Just me. Romain plays a 9.2. Mark plays a 9.2. What a game for those guys. We are going to outstretch the arms here. A good win. Well done. I tell you what, after that first three-game series, I was extremely worried because we were down in relegation. And now we're 23 points, a plus 13 goal differential after 14 games, and we are looking solid. Got to be happy with that. Uh, I have put a poll up on Twitter by the time you guys see this video. Uh, the poll will be over. But basically, as I had mentioned, we're going to play less episodes this season to get through the whole season. And really, then we can all kind of judge together. Uh, so as you start seeing this season in particular, uh, I do look forward to some feedback. You know, skipping too many games, is it okay to skip the games for you guys to see more? Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, but um, I, I think it's really imperative that I try to do more, try to get through more seasons in the same allotment of time. Uh, and I'm right now, prior to this, I was doing the same number of episodes in a season that I was doing when I was doing six uploads a week for one save rather than three. So I've got to pick it up. Two goals, one assist, and 9.2 rating for the Frenchman. Really impressed. And he is looking really good. Talk about a good signing. I think we picked up, might be one of the best signing classes I've ever had in a transfer window, um, especially between Mark and Ramos. Those guys have been really stellar. I mean, 12 goals and eight assists between them in 15 games. Doesn't get much better than that. Uh, keeping Graves, I think, was a good bit of business, even though it cost us a good bit of money. Um, but He's still making 290, which is only about half of what Cernan was making. Oh, by the way, let's check on Cernan. He went to Payock, and he's got five starts, three sub appearances, and four goals with two assists. So he's not starting every match. Five starts, three reserves. Uh, yeah, he's playing well. Can't uh, can't say he is not performing for the Greek side. Um, I'd like to see him maybe start a little bit more. I go to Payock here and go to Tactics. Can I see that? All right, so they're playing a 4-2-4. And says he's up top, so that's cool. Um, but it's always good to see your players. You know, I hated to move him. That, that was a painful decision because, like I said, probably my favorite player of the save so far. By the way, who's been your favorite player of this save so far? Let me know in the comments. And, you know, once I see who you guys are, are acclimating to, I'll go back and make sure we keep an eye on those guys. Um, and I apologize for not asking that earlier. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget, Monday through Saturday, daily football manager content. And, uh, yeah, let me get through another bunch of games. And um, what I'll probably do is... I'll probably come back sometime in early February at this point, but may, maybe late January if we have a fourth round FA Cup match there, but then we'll do like we did here. We'll do a couple of games of highlights and we'll probably focus on the cup matches in those. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.